What's up guys, Inferno here. Now, I realise this video is going to annoy quite a lot of people, especially a very, very large fan base. So here's an adorable picture to put you in a forgiving mood. For those who know me well enough, Naruto is my favourite anime of all time. And I have also recently picked up One Piece. One Piece is very good, I just don't think it is better than Naruto. And a lot of people do think that One Piece is better than Naruto. Well, I decided to make this video to tell you that you're wrong. <laughs> now I'm kidding. I'm just going over some reasons why I think that Naruto is better than One Piece. I'm not trying to tell you that your opinion is wrong or you need to go away and actually get re-educated in anime. I'm just pointing out some reasons why I think that Naruto is more enjoyable. Now I know a lot, and I mean a lot, of One Piece fans are stubborn as hell. And you're going to be saying like, No, you haven't gotten to the best arcs yet, you've got to keep going, then you'll see that uh, One Piece is better than Naruto! I'm sorry, I just don't see how I'll ever like One Piece more than Naruto. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. If you're a fan of Naruto, if you're a fan of One Piece, if you think I missed out a fact that I could differentiate between the two, and if you have any videos suggestions for the future, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. So without further ado, let's get into the video! Now I'm going to be going over all of the reasons why I believe Naruto is better than One Piece. They're not in really any particular order, so let's get through all of them now. Starting with my first opinion. Number one, Naruto's fight scenes were a lot better from the early episodes up until the final episode of Shippuden. One Piece fights didn't captivate me at all during the East Blue Saga and only it started to become interesting from the Ennis Lobby arc. I'm sorry, but it, to me, it's just true. Every fight scene from Naruto slaps like a bitch. Like, every single fight. Like, let me compare two early fights. One from Naruto, one from One Piece. Let's take Gara and Rock Lee, for example. That was by far one of the greatest early fights in Naruto. Now let's compare that to a fight from One Piece, such as... Luffy versus Crocodile, or Luffy versus Buggy, or Zoro versus Hawkeye. None of them really stack up. Naruto just has a better way of captivating the audience in a fight. I mean, I know that Naruto is more fighting based and One Piece is more at, uh, adventure based, but at the same time, if you're gonna have fighting in your show, you need a way to captivate your audience better. Naruto captivates the audience because their fight scenes are very flashy and over the top. Plus their powers uh, are very, very flashy and very interesting. But One Piece I just feel like lacks in that department. I am currently near the end of the Ennis Lobby arc. I am loving the Ennis Lobby arc. Like, I do love One Piece. I don't want you to think that I'm shitting on One Piece. I love One Piece. It's currently my top five favourite anime. But I just don't feel like it can compare to Naruto. Like, Ennis Lobby is probably the only arc I've seen that's probably a 10 out of 10 out of all of the arcs I've seen in One Piece. But I just don't think it can compare to Naruto in fight scenes. Like, Naruto has some amazing fight scenes. Like, I pretty much remembered every important fight scene in all of Naruto. But in every fight scene of One Piece so far, I only remember a few. There are, I don't remember too many fight scenes from One Piece. That kind of makes me feel that the fight scenes in One Piece aren't as memorable in Naruto. Yes, I get the fact that it's not all about the action and the fighting in One Piece, but if you're going to have fighting in a show, you need to make the fighting memorable. And the fact that Naruto did a better job of it, it just kind of makes me feel that Naruto is a better show when it comes to fighting. Number two, 
Since Naruto is a lot shorter and the pacing is a lot better, I feel it would appeal more to younger viewers or someone who wants to start getting into anime. I'm sure some of you may be thinking that that isn't too much of a difference, but that's including Naruto and Naruto Shippuden if you will also watch the filler. If you decide not to watch the filler in Naruto, it becomes an awful lot shorter. Like, you, yes, you can argue the same with One Piece, but since One Piece has more episodes, it's gonna have more filler. So even if you take away the filler episodes in One Piece, Naruto is still gonna have fewer episodes than One Piece. Not to mention the fact, when you get to episode 135 of Naruto, you can go straight to Shippuden. Because the filler that you miss is explained in Shippuden. So, you're not really missing much if you decide to watch the filler in Shippuden and not in Naruto. Naruto actually gets to the point a lot quicker than One Piece. One Piece's pacing is slow as hell. Now, I'm not saying that's a negative, but it can turn people off when they're trying to get into it. That's all I'm saying. So in that regard, I feel like Naruto does the better job since it actually gets to the point quicker than One Piece. Yes, you may find it boring because it's either slow or you think it's childish or whatever you think it may be. I just think that Naruto flows better in terms of pacing because they get to the points quicker, the fight scenes are very very good, the storytelling is very very amazing. But there are some elements that uh, One Piece does better like I don't want you to feel like I'm shitting on One Piece so I'm gonna mention some pros. For example One Piece definitely does a better job at world building than Naruto. Like I can point out that some things One Piece does are better than Naruto, but overall I think Naruto does a better job than One Piece. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. The very first time I tried to get into anime, the first anime, or at least one of the first anime, I had ever saw was One Piece. I watched like the first five episodes I think it was. It was up until old, um, Zoro joined up and then Zoro and Luffy sailed into the sunset. That's where I got off to the last time I watched One Piece up until a few months ago. And based on the voice acting, the fight scenes, and also how many episodes there were at the time, that completely turns me off from watching it further. So I decided to not watch it. But then David told me to maybe give Naruto a try since it's shorter, has more action, has a better dub, and yes, it may be another member of the big three, but he thought I would enjoy it more. I watched it, and I did enjoy it more. Number three. Naruto is good in both dub and sub, while One Piece is only good in sub. Now, if anyone is watching this that hasn't seen One Piece, I would highly recommend reading the manga. That is what I would do. Read the manga. But if you can't afford it, or if you don't want to research how to find the manga, I would recommend watching it in sub and skip all of the filler. Do not watch it in dub. I know that I can't talk because I'm watching it in dub, but I'm a dub watcher. I cannot watch anything in sub. I'm just not made that way. I've talked about this so many times, but if you watch One Piece in dub, you're going to be stuck with some screeching dumbass always saying OH MY GOD IT'S GONNA BE THE PIRATES! Shut up! And in dub, Naruto is a lot better. You've got some great voice actors in dubbed Naruto. Kakashi, to name one of them, Madara Uchiha, Obito, um, did I say a Naruto already? Um, yeah, so there are quite a lot of good actors in there. Oh, there's also, um, oh, well, not Hinata. She's kind of annoying. Neji. Neji is a great a actor in dub as well. So there are some, to me, better dubbed actors in 
Naruto than there is in One Piece. I mean, there are some alright dubbed voice actors in One Piece, such as Zoro and Sanji, but that doesn't really cut it when most of the dubbed Naruto cast is better than the dubbed One Piece cast. I know I kind of discussed this in a past fact, but in number four, I said that the pacing is a lot better in Naruto than it is in One Piece. Now, I'm not going to be talking about this topic too much because I somewhat already discussed it, but to me, Naruto has a lot better pacing than One Piece due to the fact that they know how to tell a story a lot better, in my opinion. I don't think it was too long. I didn't think it was too short in any of the arcs. I feel like it was correctly paced. In One Piece, their storytelling is so slow. Not to mention, right smack bang in the middle of an arc, they'll throw in about three to five filler episodes. And then they'll do it again about 10 episodes after. That kind of occurred during the Ennings Lobby arc. And that really, really annoyed me. To me, that just kind of shows that Naruto just has better pacing. I mean, yes, Naruto does have a lot of filler, but their filler is enjoyable. I'm not saying that One Piece doesn't have enjoyable filler, because obviously I've never seen a single episode of filler, One Piece. But I did like watching the filler in Naruto. Like, if I had not liked the filler in Naruto, I would have skipped through all of the filler, but I actually enjoyed the filler. So, that kind of shows to me that Naruto actually knows how to make decent filler episodes. Number five, the music in Naruto is more emotional and more impactful, as well as more hyped. While One Piece only has one or two good openings, and the anime music itself, I feel just can't compare to Naruto's. When I say it can't compare to Naruto's, I mean I don't find it as emotional or as hype. For example, you know the um, a beat in One Piece, you know, da, 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 da. Yeah, that theme, like, I just can't jam to. It just doesn't as, just, just doesn't hype me. Like, I, I would want something to make me feel hyped. I mean, yes, it's suspenseful, but it's played so much that it kind of gets boring after a while. When it comes to openings, Naruto has some bangers. Like, let me e give you some examples. Far Away, Go, Rhapsody of Youth, No Boy No Cry, Heroes Come Back, Distance, Bluebird, Closer, Haturu no Hikari, Sign, Tomei Data Sekai, Diver, Lovers, Totsugeki Rock, Momish Momishimo, I think that is? Nawaka and Silhouette, to name some. While One Piece only really has two okay openings. Like the best one, definitely the first opening. I can't really think of too many character themes when it comes to One Piece. Naruto has some great character themes, like the Akatsuki theme, OP is blank and that, yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, the Nar uh, Naruto's character theme, great. Shikamaru, um, oh, what was the other one? I know, oh, that Sasuke has a great character opening. Bottom line is, there are some amazing character uh, uh, songs in Naruto, and I can't really think of many character songs in One Piece. In fact, I don't even know if they do any. Like, let me know in the comments some great character openings for... One Piece, but I can't really think of many. But I can think of some great ones off the top of my head for Naruto. Number six. I feel the characters in Naruto are more attaching and more memorable than the characters in One Piece. Now before anyone, anyone types a nasty comment, let me explain. I just feel that Naruto's characters are more attaching. When I say this, I feel like I would, I feel like I remember the characters more than I do in One Piece. But I don't even know the name of the a villain in the Skypiea arc, 
nor do I remember the name of the villain in the Barati arc, or the villain in the arc where we first meet Chopper. While I remember every single minute little detail about Naruto. <laughs> no, I don't mean every single minute little detail, but the bo bottom line is, I remember more about Naruto than I do One Piece. I don't know if it's got to do with the fact that Naruto is my favourite show of all time, or if I just like Naruto more than One Piece. I don't know what it is. I just find the characters more... I remem well, more memorable than One Piece. Plus, I feel like the characters' backstories in Naruto are better than One Piece. Now, before you anyone says anything, I love the backstories in One Piece. There's also another thing that I really, really love about One Piece. One Piece has some amazing character backgrounds. They are probably some of the best I've ever seen in anime. But I just feel like Naruto's are better. This is my opinion. You're free to have your own. Just please put it in a nice way. Because this is what I'm doing. I'm putting my opinions in a nice way. So that way, you guys don't get, well, as ballistically angry as you could be. I'm just putting this in a nice way. I do love One Piece, I just prefer Naruto. Number seven. While the world building is better in One Piece, Naruto beats it in every other category. Now this one is purely opinionated, but this is just how I view anime. I don't see world building as a contributing factor when I watch anime. I just... well, I don't really know what I take into consideration when to watch anime. I guess I just want to like it. And at the first five episodes when I first got into One Piece, I didn't really enjoy it as much as I did. Then when I re-watched it during the first five episodes, I still didn't as enjoy it, but... I decided to give it a chance, and then once I got into the, into the Barati arc, I was semi-interested, so I decided to keep going. But with Naruto, I was instantly hooked within the first five episodes. I don't know why, it's just how it is. Still, I just feel like Naruto has it beat in every single category that you can possibly name apart from world building. I really don't want you guys to hate me for this, but I just think that world building is not that much of a contributing factor. But in every other category, Naruto beats One Piece. Fights, music, villains, characters, character backgrounds, story, plot, twists. I just feel like Naruto beats One Piece, but... I know it's a bit of an unfair comparison because I haven't seen all of One Piece. But considering that I have seen nearly 300 episodes, I feel like I have seen enough to validate an opinion on it. Number 8. The power system are a lot more interesting in Naruto than One Piece. I'm just going to say this now. I am not the biggest fan of Devil Fruit. I think they're interesting, but I'm not as interested in it compared to other power systems I've seen. Like, I personally prefer stuff like, well, Bleach's power system, the whole Bunkai. Like, I prefer uh, the, the Hollows, I prefer those power systems. I like Key from Dragon Ball. But above all, I prefer Chakra in Naruto. I personally think... Chakra is better than Devil Fruits. With One Piece, they, their fights are kind of more smart fights. They make you think. You have to think. With Naruto, yes, you have to think, but they also just... Well, go into it in a very, very flashy and powerful way. Like, I do think there is a smart fighting when it comes to Naruto. For example, they all sometimes like combine different hand signs to make new jutsus. That is very interesting to me. Like, 
I do know that One Piece does have smart fighting, but I'm not really into smart fighting as much as the next guy. I prefer, like, flashy, over-the-top, powerful fight scenes. For example, Naruto and Sasuke at Final Valley Part 2. That is my favourite fight scene in all of anime. Or a close second, maybe, would be Rengoku and Akaza in Demon and Slayer Mugen Train. That was also an amazing fight scene. But I can't really compare the power systems to One Piece and Naruto. Because they don't really do it in a way that is interesting to me personally. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll find Haki more interesting. I haven't gotten to Haki yet, so maybe I'll find Haki more interesting. We'll see that when I come to Haki. And finally, at number nine, the I love the main characters more in Naruto than the main characters in One Piece. I'm sorry, but this is an opinion. You can't get mad at me just because I have a different opinion to yours. Everyone has the right to have a different opinion to yours, even if you do not agree to it. I personally prefer the main characters in Naruto than I do in One Piece. I adore every single character, well at least 90% of the characters in Naruto. Like some of my favourite characters have got to be people like Naruto, Sasuke, Kakashi, Madara, Obito, Pain. There are just so many good characters like Shikamaru, Neji. There are so many great characters in Naruto. Where I, as I only really like a few characters in One Piece. Like, I love Zoro. Zoro is definitely my favourite character of all time in One Piece. My second favourite would probably be Neji. Or not Neji, Sanji. Sorry. I meant Sanji. Sanji is by far my second favourite. Um, I don't really like Luffy that much. Luffy is by far my all-time most hated anime character of all all time. My second least favourite the Straw Hats would probably be Robin, since while her backstory is interesting, she hasn't really done too much so far, so I'm still waiting for her moment to shine. Still, I just, I just love the characters more in Naruto than I do One Piece. Still, this is only my opinion. You don't have to take it too harshly. This is just one person's opinion. You are free to have your own, you're free to disagree. I would just ask that if you disagree and you want to comment something, please put it in a nice way. Because I have... I didn't say anything extremely outlandishly negative about One Piece. Yes, I have pointed out things that I don't particularly like about One Piece, but I didn't flat out hate it. I, from my experience, I have met quite a lot of One Piece fans that have mocked me, have taken in the mech out of me, all because I prefer Naruto over One Piece. And some of them, one or two of them have been quite toxic towards me. So I would appreciate it enormously if you do want to comment something about what I've said to put it in a positive and polite way because since I have done so about One Piece I would appreciate it if you did the same like I just feel like that's kind of equivalent exchange see what I did there even though I'm not talking about that anime still again this is one person's opinion you're free to have your own I just believe that Naruto is a better show than One Piece, in my opinion. I'm not crapping on One Piece, I am not hating on One Piece. I do really like One Piece. Why would it be in my top 5 anime if I didn't like One Piece? Like, I would highly recommend people watching One Piece. But if someone, if I was to Ask, if someone asked me if they want to get into anime and what anime should they start off with. 
first off, I'd ask them what sort of genres they like. If they said they uh, prefer action above all others, I would recommend Naruto or Bleach. But if they say they're more into adventure than they are action, then I would recommend watching One Piece. And now it, guys, hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, which anime you prefer between the two. If you agree with any of the uh, things I said, if you disagree with any of the things I said, and if you have any video suggestions for the future, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Like I said, I never made this video intentionally to piss someone off. I just wanted to make this video to show that even though my opinion may be different to yours, we can come together on equal grounds when it comes to anime. And I am sorry if I deeply offended you. So here's another adorable picture to put you in, in a forgiving mood. Hopefully. Did you enjoy the video as much as I am making it? If you did, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment down below, share this video with a friend, and if you're new, subscribe to my channel, it's been Inferno today. Okay, that's all for me, so until the next time, this is Inferno, Signing off. Bye!